Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Damon X Machina, the game that I probably should have played when it came out on Switch, but I was like, I'm too busy, I got other things to play. I think I got suckered into Astral Chain instead because the reviews were better. I didn't really like Astral Chain as much, and so I probably should have picked this game up, but I didn't want to... I was just too busy to pick this one up. And then I heard it was coming out on PC, and I'm like, holy shit, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. And so we're going to be playing this for at least a little while. I've heard really good things about the PC port that, like, more or less everything people didn't like about the Switch version is vastly improved over on the uh, PC version, so hopefully it'll be better. I know it looks better. I was looking at some graphics comparisons. Let's just dive right in. Uh, let's see. All right, I pre-ordered the game so I get some extra stuff. Yeah! Yeah! Wait, did they just super nuke Mars? Or the moon? Uh, that would destroy the Earth. Oh, it's time. All right, so I should probably mention before I cut here, this character creation video will be going up on my side channel uh, called Wanderbot Prime because I've heard you can make some real, real sweet monsters here and I'm gonna get in deep. Oh man, this is the first character I've ever made in one of these games where it makes total sense for them to be a silent protagonist. Link, All this character does is he just goes up to things and it's like, hmm? My name is Ford. I am the operator who serves as the liaison between orbital and outers like yourself. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your neural link terminal. At this time, your biometric data in the oval link will be updated and registered with Orbital. This is your arsenal, on loan from Orbital. Before we register you as a mercenary, you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. Hmm. 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 Viewing your play record. Don't care. These are things. Don't care. Dog! Can you pet it? Damn it. It's like the dog doesn't exist. Oh. It does follow me around, though. Okay, what was I supposed to do? Oh, missions from hangar. Okay, accepting missions will advance the main story. Select a mission to dispatch. Offer mission. Ranky. Outer aptitude test. Gotcha. Initiating Arsenal Boot Sequence. Data Link, normal. Generator Pool, normal. Energy Limiter released. Electromagnetic Armor operating at normal levels. Weapon Safety Mechanism released. All systems normal. Commencing launch. Hey, 
I can remember some of your character upgrades can change your eyes to be more cyborg like. Hell yeah! Your aptitude test will begin soon. This is a live fire exercise, but you have nothing to worry about. Hardly anyone fails this test. Two veteran mercenaries will serve as observers during the test. I'm getting some serious Armor Core vibes from this. As well I should, but like, they really nailed the feeling, I'll give them that. This is Reaper of the Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed, I'm sure. I gotta do one thing real quick. I'm gonna make it so both, uh... Two of my monitors are actually synced up. Uh, let's see. Because I want to be able to sit on my couch for this. Keep changes, that should be good. There we go. Back to this. Hell yeah! Observers for the aptitude test are selected at random from a pool of qualified mercenaries. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly, and to intervene if your life is threatened. I like her butterfly tattoo. What Four said, if things get dicey, just ask us for help. That said, don't expect to pass if you nearly die out here. For Oval, and the world as a whole, Outers like yourself are among our most valuable resources. However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may be reassessed. We get it. Let's get this over with already. Like Four said, hardly anyone fails this test. If you're not sure what to do, prioritize your survival. Just trust your instincts and you'll pass with flying colors. We will now begin the aptitude test. Please direct your attention to your radar. The aptitude test will begin once you cross the blue boundary. Move out and proceed to the designated coordinates as instructed. Okay, radar. Uh, white is Arsenal Outer Player, Arsenal Outer Ally, Enemy Units, Mission Objectives, Arsenal Wreckage, and Enemy Missiles. Uh, ammo Residual Femto, Covery Tanks, and Femto Zones. Basic controls, move, camera, jump, hold and release to high jump. Uh, for those of you that have played this, uh, I'll have to try, the, I'll have to see if I can use keyboard and mouse for this. I probably can't. Boost for fly speed, uh, let's see, does consume stamina. Arsenal runs out of stamina, you'll be able to, unable to boost or fly for a short period of time. Attacking enemies. Aim with right, uh, right stick. Okay. You'll lock on enemies when they enter your sights. Blue cursor means you've locked on. Red indicates your primary attack target. Shoulder weapon, auxiliary weapon. There's going to be a lot here. Oh boy, there's going to be a lot. This is going to take forever for me to learn. Hold to eject a weapon. That's interesting. Probably the... Uh, if it's lighter, maybe. You have arrived at the designated coordinates. The aptitude test will now begin. The next phase will begin shortly. Initiating mock battle sequence. Destroy all enemy AIs. The vital might... gauge will deplete as you receive damage from enemies. This gauge represents your arsenal's durability. Should it fall to zero, the test will end. To lock on to an enemy, align the sights in the center of your monitor over the target. Okay. Once locked on, you may fire. Your arsenal's OS will correct for any minor lapses in firearm accuracy. Use your boost ability to avoid enemy fire, and to get within range to return fire. Destroying VP recovery tanks generates a recovery area. Enter the area to recover VP. Okay. So, it looks like keyboard and mouse really is going to be easier for me. Uh, we'll see how this goes. It's going to be a little funky moving around, but it's going to be so much easier for me to do this than to aim with a uh, controller. I am absolute garbage aiming with controllers. I, I will play like hack and slash and action games, but if I have to aim with a controller, it just doesn't work. Process 
processing. Designated enemy AIs have been detected by your radar. Destroy them at once. That looks like that's, uh... That's bonus ammo? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, can I have... I can have my shield up at the same time that I can have my... I'm curious if there's going to be much of a benefit for having a shield. I'm sure there will be. I'll just have to get up there. It reminds you of Zone of the Enders. I've heard that. I've never actually played Zone of the Enders, personally. It's something I will probably load up at some point. I think it's... Is it on Steam? I want to say one of them was ported to, like, PC or PS4 or something. Oh, the animations are super cool. I'm not really... I'm not really, like, acing it particularly well here. But, like, it just looks hella rad. I can't wait until I can have some, like, rocket launchers or other things. It looks like running around on the ground is actually fairly good. What is this? Oh, this is a... This is a VP thing. Got it. Your arsenal link key has been received. You are hereby recognized by Orbital and the Consortiums as a registered mercenary. From now on, you will help us work toward world peace by completing assigned missions. Thank you for your service. Oh, that's cool. You can see just what's left of the moon up there. Well, I could return to the base, but I don't think there's really anything for me to do that with. So I will mention this has multiplayer. If any of you guys do pick this up, I will probably have certain points where I do the multiplayer missions uh, and we can all group up for that. But not right now. I'm going to be focusing on my own stuff tonight. Okay, so what do we have? What is this? Online! Enjoy both co-op and versus multiplayer. In ranked matches, players' bounty rating is determined the results of the match. Blah, blah, blah. Don't think I care too much. So, complete missions with other players. All participating players will work together to compl uh, complete the mission. During missions, you'll fight enormous bosses and rival mercenaries. <clears throat> Friendly arsenal that's been shot down can be brought back. Got it. After completing a co-op mission, you can challenge teammates to a shootout by attacking them. If your teammate attacks you back, shootout will begin. It's called a duel. Cool. Not really my thing. Uh, let's see. If I create a room, it, this is something I think I'm going to just leave for later. I love the idea of this. It's kind of like a just bonus thing. If you want to, if you want to or need to grind, you can just load up multiplayer and go kick ass for a while. Okay. Uh, let's see, so I want to check hangar real quick. Paint. Here's the thing. Uh, patterns. I doubt we have access to any, any patterns currently. But colors. Full body. Color one. Obviously, I'm going to have this be Wanderbot colored. Okay, uh, let's see. Color two. Now, do I want this to be the blue? Probably. It's a little gaudy for my taste. Maybe let's go back up to color one for a second. I really like a proper red orange, but it actually doesn't seem like they have a red orange. You just go straight into the reds, weird. It's like my colors don't exist. Oh. So I can't actually change the body color. Okay, so in this case, this would be this would be the blue.
Okay, so let's go back to this one. This one should actually be... quite dark. Give me a second. Colors mean a lot to me for whatever reason. This is a little bit closer to Wonderbot colors. I like this. I was kind of hoping I could change the, uh, the gray interior platings, but... Oh well. Anyway, that's better. Uh, let's see. Loadout, testing ground. No, nah, I don't think I have anything like this. Yeah, it's good. Missions. There's also free missions. Don't know what those are going to be. Alright, sweep the city. Immortals have invaded Grey City within Sky Union's territory. Team up with other reclaimers to eliminate them. Mission briefing. This mission is a request from Sky Union. The details are as follows. Hostile AI forces have invaded Sky Union's territory within the Oval Link. Each assigned mercenary must quickly clear out the enemies within the designated area. We have also confirmed that the invading enemy force consists of these seized AI. For this mission, the area has been divided among all participating reclaimers. You will be accompanying Bulletworks. Briefing over. Message? Oh. Greetings, Robodad. We are Zen. If you're not familiar with the concept of Zen, it refers to a life of hardships, but also represents everything that is. It is at once part and sum, fragment and whole. As our philosophy is the peak of technology, we provide all reclaimers with the latest weapons and arsenal tech. There are those in this world who claim we would sell our souls for science. Nevertheless, we will support you with our latest technological advancements. The challenges that await you are not unlike those faced by our predecessors. We look forward to witnessing all that you accomplish. Welcome to the new world. We are Horizon, to all corners of the Earth. As a resident of Earth yourself, you are no doubt sympathetic to this ideal. Now more than ever, in these trying times, we must uphold the legacy of our founding fathers, who conquered this world to continue to press onward. Oval's resources are necessary to restore the world. We want you to devote yourself to the world from this day forward. In sickness and in health, until you are separated by death, but expect nothing less. Welcome to Oval! You must be Robodad, our newest reclaimer. It's been several months since we had someone pass the aptitude test. It was so easy! Here at Sky Union, our guiding principle is we are all connected beneath the sky. We believe Oval's resources belong to humanity as a whole. We hope to eliminate the AIs and bring peace to the world. We look forward to seeing you in action as you fight for us, no, for all of humanity. And four. The purpose of the orbital organization is to respond to crises that arise within the barrier that encircles the oval. This is accomplished through the mission through mission requests that are issued by each consortium nation. We provide support to all reclaimers to the best of our abilities, such that they have whatever is required to complete a mission. As a member of orbital, we expect you to adhere to our re ah sorry rules and regulations from this point forward. Serious violations will be addressed accordingly. Consider this your first and only warning. We do not directly involve ourselves in the affairs of mercenaries and their consortium clients. However, if we determine that a mission would be disadvantageous to Orbital's interests, we will intervene as we deem necessary. That being said, we do not take sides in any conflicts that may arise between parties involved in a mission. And so, without further ado, we welcome you to Orbital. We expect great things from you. All right, start mission. Rookie, if you got any questions, hit me up. I'd be happy to show you the ropes. So you're a vet now, Jimmy. <sighs> See what I gotta put up with? Come on, Corporal. When are you gonna stop treating me like a newbie? Four, send us the mission data. Uploading. That should be everything. Consult this data for detailed information about the mission area. Continue your approach. The mission will begin soon. 
Catch you later, rookie. So one of those guys is the voice actor for Sojiro. Using objects and vehicles, F to grab and hold certain objects and enemies. Held objects can be used as weapons by pressing the attack button assigned to the arm holding the object. Objects used as weapons are destroyed after a single use. Standing Interesting. Femto particle density is low. Electronic devices will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. Hey, rookie. Looks like you made it to the battlefield in one piece. Welcome to the Oval Link. Exciting, isn't it? This is hell, Kelly. Encased in a 2,000 kilometer wide barrier. Focus. Come on, man. What do you keep busting my chop for? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Johnny G. I'm with Bulletworks. And that lovely ray of sunshine is the corporal. He's with Bulletworks, too. Please remember to use my call sign. Oh. My call sign is my real name. Man, I wish I had a cool sounding call sign like Falcon. A call sign is just a word to help us ID each other. Oh, that's Johnny. If you say so, Corporal. Anyway, Bola works has been placed in charge of this area. The other areas are being handled by other recruiters spots. Choose your partners wisely. In this line of work, the wrong choice can get you killed. Corporal's right. You'll definitely want to steer clear of the shadier mercs. Just keep tabs on the mercenary room. And you'll learn fast who's odd and who's not. Anyway, back on top. Can I change audio real quick? Oh, much better. Okay, audio settings. Thank you. Uh, so we're turning voice volume up. Background music can stay. Sound effects can go down. Warning sound effects can stay where they are. Where they're at, I think. Actually, let's turn this up a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to turn this down. I want to be able to hear the characters above all else. Let's see, subtitles on, text speed is good, autosave is good, vibration, let's turn that off. Because I'm using keyboard and mouse. Uh, let's see, maximum graphics, that's a good sign. I mean, nice part is, this is a, oh, mini-map. Let's turn off rotation. Um, this was originally designed to be a Switch game, which more or less means that, like, Sky Union, most computers are going to be able to run this pretty dang time. well. But oh, every better. now and then, AI invaders will show up knocking at the door, trying to get in. And when that happens... We get called in to clean house. Test control, more or less. Pretty much. You probably already know about the Immortals, but just in case. They're responsible for corrupting all these AI that we've been sent to destroy. But our arsenals are more than a match for them. These AI might as well be fish in a barrel. The Immortals must be destroyed on sight. We'll get a bonus for each one we take out. Stay within the mission area. Four will alert you if you're about to stray. Just leave it to me. Also, sometimes on the battlefield, you can salvage equipment for your arsenal. Whatever you find, you keep. Try to recover any equipment you come across. If you're lucky, it'll be high-quality stuff. But most of the time, it's junk. I think that about covers everything. Clustering is a bad tactic, so spread out. If you need help, call for me or Johnny. Over and out. Woohoo! Time to get this party started! Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the last enemy? And the answer is, it's just a dumb tank. Executing automatic Ow. return sequence. Ow! Return according to instructions. Over already, huh? Looks like the rookie's still in one piece, too. Time to head home and... Wait, Johnny. I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Transmitting target data. Woo boy! To save a mother. What am I any alien? I can't remember. Sizes. Gigan class? Oh man. You sure we're not in over our heads here? Mission update. Sky Union has notified us of a change to this mission. You are to stop these immortals from advancing further into Sky Union's territory. What? You've got to be kidding me! What's the call, Corporal? We're right where we need to be. Should have known you'd say something like that. Yeah. Fine. I guess we're doing this. There are no whiners in bulletproofs. 
Besides, I'm sure BG planned for this. I really hope you're right about that. Okay, so far so good. I wonder if you can blast arms off. Man, this is tough. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can take this arm off. Did he just... Did he just try and kick me? Yeah, I can't really tell how much damage I'm doing here, which is a bit of a tra travesty. But that's okay. I seem to be doing fine. I might turn down the warning side effects. I don't think I need them as much. Oh, I'm trying to... Trying to tell. Okay, question is, can I grab anything and actually hit him with it? Because I am not doing any damage to this thing. A fierce gale is approaching. Fierce gale? What are you talking about? I Still grab. alive, huh? You've gotten stronger, it seems. Corporal! Johnny G! Get out of the way! Major! Lieutenant! Falcon, Johnny G. We'll take it from here. Okay, I figured as much. I was like, I can't do shit to this thing. The answer is because I got a weenie gun. Follow my lead. I won't always have your back, you know. Giga class, huh? huh? I know you want to kill me, but you need to remember your duty. Besides, we both know I'm the superior pilot. Just focus on defeating these for now. Fine, but someday you'll be next. That's the spirit. This is very anime. I'm... I'm very happy about this. I've... Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Initiating return sequence. I've been feeling very anemic in terms of anime quantity. And so this is this is hitting all of the right all of the right feels. I didn't do biscuits, but that's okay. I see we have a new face with us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Crimson Lord. Second in command of Bullet Works. And this is Diablo. You did well out there. I'll be sure to keep you in mind. Whew, what an ordeal. I just wanted to score some quick credits. Good thing those two swooped in to save us. We're still alive. That's all that matters. You really gotta work on your praise, Corporal. Until next time. I will provide all necessary information for completing future missions. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? What are immortals? Immortals are a new form of life. That much is certain. After the moon fell, an unknown phenomenon caused some AIs to regard humanity as a threat that must be annihilated. These immortals have their own unique language, as well as individual personalities. They can also corrupt other AIs and human weapon systems, assimilating them into their ranks to bolster their forces. Working alongside the consortiums, our goal at Orbital is to control all areas in the Oval Link, Missions to eliminate immortals are assigned to mercenaries like you to achieve that goal. Cool, bye. Could probably ask about the rest of that stuff, but I don't think I need to care. So how do we buy stuff? Oh, that's how we buy stuff. We have to wait. We don't have access to any of these things yet. I just really want to... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I can actually switch my gun... Uh, some of my equipment out. Okay, you can change your equipment around. So armor... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so I only have a, one of each of these. 
But I do have better weapons. So I've been using the assault rifle, which is boring as hell. There's also a bazooka, a sword, an assault rifle, an SMG, another assault rifle. Automated shooting. Okay, left weapon. We have the shield. Defend against bullets. Alternatively, Daka. Okay, and we do also have a shoulder weapon. Holy shit, that thing's big. All right. I'm assuming I have no auxiliaries. Yeah, for pre-ordering this game, I got a couple extra bits, which is kind of neat. Paint. Edit arsenal. Prototype. Oh. I don't know what prototype is. Okay, just changes its appearance. Cool. That's a big missile just hanging out up there, but more DACA. Alright, uh, let's see. So, keyboard configuration. How do I use shoulder weapons? It's Q and E. Got it. I want to see the railgun. Do I have a railgun? If I have a railgun, I'll, I'll toss it on on the secondary slot. I didn't think I had one. Yeah, I don't have a railgun. Because, yeah, I've... I got a bazooka. Oh, was it shoulder mounted? Well, I, I don't have the railgun. Yeah, I don't have half of these things yet. We'll get there. Be patient. Want to bring the bazooka? Because Daka. We'll bring the bazooka later. I think the bazooka is a starting weapon as opposed to a pre-order weapon. I could be wrong. And therefore is worse? Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway. With the appearance of Colossal Immortals, Sky Union has decided to reinvestigate the neutral zone. It will be provided prototype weapons for the mission. Oh. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Sky Union. In response to the appearance of Gigant class immortals during the previous mission, Sky Union has deemed it necessary to investigate neutral areas to prevent future immortal invasions. I've uploaded a map of the mission area. The area you'll be investigating shares a border with Sky Union's territory. Complete any necessary preparations. Then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Gigant class immortals. So named after the mythological race. Colossal beings born from the blood that fell when the primordial god Uranus was castrated. One could say that in this gigantomachy of our time, we are like unto Zeus, brandishing his mighty thunderbolt. Real wordsmith, this guy. Say, I heard you were the first to face off against one of these. What was it like? Most powerful AI I've ever seen. Actually, wait, no. We can't talk, so... Hmm. Ah, excellent. We don't need to restrain ourselves against powerful foes, but bring to bear the full force of our absolute justice. Hmm. Well, yeah, but we still need to investigate. Better than being completely in the dark, that's for sure. In any event, it is essential that every last immortal be driven out. They are a blight, to be purged by humanity. Uh, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Oh, you're that straight shooter from Innocence. Have you been here the whole time? I have. I'm actually responsible for gathering information for our team. Please ask your question. Yes, right. The information we have on those Gigant-class immortals indicates that conventional weapons are ineffective. So what do we do if we encounter one? In the previous encounter, the area's wide-range radar and communications tower were destroyed. We gathered what little information we could from the battle data of the Arsenal combatants. Beyond that, we know little else. 
since Bulletworks was responsible for their destruction in the last encounter. It is highly unlikely that a similar type of immortal could be hiding nearby. Highly unlikely, but not impossible either. Precisely, which is why Sky Union is loaning special weapons to those who accept this mission. Testing those weapons is a secondary purpose of the mission. Ah, a secondary purpose. I see. So there's a chance these untested weapons might work. But they're just loaning them to us? Yeah, I'm gonna need more incentive than that, especially when there's a chance these weapons are total duds. What, we just gotta assume all the risk and that's that? They can't sweeten the deal at all? Come on, work with me here. I'll see what I can do. One moment, please. Holding out for a greater reward. You disappoint me, hero. Your older brother would never engage in such unbecoming conduct. Okay, I admit it. Dev is more of a hero than I am. He's all about getting up close and using his own power to take down enemies. But me? Well, if someone's gonna give me a powerful new weapon to play with, I am not gonna say no to that. Impressive. Yes. As mercenaries, we answer to a higher calling. One that demands we destroy the Immortals by any and all means at our disposal. Such is our burden as agents of justice. I imagine being rich enough to afford a made-to-order arsenal helps to ease that burden, though. My siblings and I, we have to work hard so we can afford to eat. It'd really help if you sat this one out, Savior. What do you say? I wish you good luck. If you fight as a stalwart agent of justice, I will not need to enter the fray. That, in turn, would entitle you to my share of the reward. Deal. I'll do my part. I have completed negotiations with Sky Union. They are willing to extend the loan period indefinitely if you agree to provide them with all future battle data. Well, in that case, I accept this mission. What about you, Prince? When duty beckons, ours is not to refuse. Innocence will also accept. That... That dialogue there was, like, really fast for some reason. It was like, Innocence will also accept. It, was, it, it felt like they, like, cut some words out or something. You can pick up cars and tanks and throw them. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is uneven, but short range radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Open. Move out. Don't let them swarm you. They're weak one on one, but in a group, they're a real pain to deal with. Rookie, try using those missiles of yours. The displayed number is your locked on targets. You can fire more missiles with each target you acquire. <laughs> okay, missile. Uh, let's see. Oh, so sure. you're the little rookie I've been hearing about. <laughs> you look more broken in than I expected. Name's Deva, Steel Knights. What's up? All right, Deva, knock it off. I met the rookie at the briefing. Prince and no-nonsense notes are off handling another area. Don't worry, rookie. I'm sure you'll team up with them eventually. Prince? That tool savior's still alive? One of these days, I really need to knock him off that high horse of his. If you did, I doubt he'd notice. Barely remembers we even exist. Truth. Oh, whoops. We gotta make sure to keep the rookie here in the loop. Now, we mercenaries usually form groups to do this work. Collectively, we're known as reclaimers. As a group, it's easier to take on bigger missions and negotiate for whatever supplies we need. If you don't want to die, surrounding yourself with allies is the way to go. You teamed up with Bullet Wars before, yeah? Among reclaimers, they're one of the larger groups. All former military types, experts in the art of war. We're talking the best of the best of the best among Reclaimers, no question. And that Prince guy? He actually leads a group of Reclaimers called the Five Hells. Their crew is something else, <laughs> that's for sure. They're nobles, basically. They got the credits and clout to put average Joes like us to work for them. That's one way of putting it. Still, even nobles have duties they can't shirk by paying off the masses. Well, whatever. We're all mercenaries in the Oval Link. And, as much as I hate to admit it, that guy's a good mercenary. Damn good, even. I bet you'd give him a run for his money in a fight. You're no slouch, either. 
Don't forget why we're the Steel Knights. Obviously. Me and my little brother Zoa are the only reclaimers in the Steel Knights. A two-man group like ours might seem odd, but that's just how we like to roll. The best way to learn about the more famous reclaimers is to check them out for yourself. Some of them are crazy. Just absolute nutcases who dive into this mess without even blinking. It's a real freak show, that's for sure. Anyway, all reclaimers res <laughs> Mission's over. <laughs> They're just talking constantly. And I'm just like, Sufficient weapon more. data collected. Mission accomplishment recognized. Executing automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Guess we didn't find any big boys. Talk about a tease. <laughs> but hey, at least we get to use these weapons all we want. I'd say that counts for something. I guess. Later, rookie. Don't go dying now. Oh, graffiti uh, scan. Let's see. And I don't know if there's really any loot to be had on these maps. So I'm going to kind of assume that there isn't. One way or another. Let's see. I actually like the talking because it would be real in this situation. Yeah, kind of. It doesn't give me a whole lot of re uh doesn't give me a whole lot of opportunity to talk, but like whatever. I don't actually care that much. I can I can let them talk for a little bit, get some lore. I feel bad for cutting them off, honestly. By finishing the mission, but no oh well, I was just kicking too much ass. Those more DACA seems like it works great, especially with the auto aim in this game, because I can effectively just like blitz enemies and just wipe them all out. Mission Zen. Zen has decided to investigate the region adjacent to Sky Union's territory. Due to the investigative nature of this mission, bringing weapons is not authorized. Huh. Mission briefing. If you have any questions, you can access me at any time to review the contents of this briefing. Briefing will now commence. This is a private mission from Zen. Whether you accept or refuse this mission, please be advised that severe penalties will be imposed if its contents are disclosed to others. Your objective is to investigate the border of Sky Union's territory and eliminate enemy AIs in the area. Additionally, Sky Union's territory may be included in the combat zone. As a precautionary measure to prevent a worst-case scenario, you are prohibited from bringing weapons on this mission. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Not allowed to bring weapons, but eliminate AI? Whoa! Easy there, Baldi. You're gonna break the briefing terminal. Baldi! A big bad gargantua twerp! I don't need no details! Let me get to wrecking already! Bet you weren't expecting that, huh, rookie? Anyway, I'm Chill from Innocence. Nice to meet ya. And this loudmouth is with the Western Seven. His name is Big Bald... Uh... Hey, what was your name again? Big Bad Gargantua! Quit saying I'm bald! I'm only 24! I just shaved my head is all! Really? That well, looks a choice. You wanna die, twerp? This is a private mission to investigate the border of another consortium's territory. Seems sketchy, don't you think? We can't leave any trace of our presence either. That means we gotta procure weapons on site. Big deal! I'm just gonna wreck everything I see! Even you two! Stay out of my way or I'll wreck you up! <sighs> the Western Seven are all like him, pretty much. Anyway, see you out there, rookie. I like big, bald Gargantua. He's a fun dude. Also, definitely not 24. <laughs> Her hair looks almost as stupid as yours. We have the same hair. That's the secret. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is high. Long range radar is not available, but short range radar is not affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. So no matter what we do, they can't see us from there. That is correct. 
Procure weapons for yourselves before you arrive at the designated area. Begin the mission. I do what I want! You two can kick rocks for all I care! <sighs> and off he goes. Well, rookie, I guess we better get started. I know we got dispatched empty-handed, but all arsenals have universal weapon specs. Meaning, if an enemy's using a weapon, we can use it too. You can either pick them off destroyed enemies or grab whatever weapons you find laying around. Scan complete. Displaying available weapons on your console. See? four has got our backs. Just pick up a weapon and she'll handle the calibration and configuration and whatnot. <laughs> Salvaging destroyed arsenals. Approach wrecked arsenal. Press F to salvage one armor or weapon equipment of your choosing. Selected equipment that cannot be used will be sent back to the base. If you have an open weapon slot or your armor is destroyed, obtained weapon equipment is automatically equipped. Or obtained equipment is automatically equipped. Obtaining weapons that use the same ammo as your current weapon will replenish your ammo. Now that you're armed, let's get to work. We got money to make. I was using the wrong weapon. Okay, avoid that for a second. Didn't take too much. Take him out. Yep. We're just going to be listening to Gargantua. Ow. I'm going to be listening to Gargantua going constantly. Oh. That's like an enemy arsenal. We might have a couple of these. Enemy reinforcements detected. Defeat them to complete the mission. Okay, excuse me. You come at Queen Chill, you better not miss. Okay, there's one. Let's see, we've got a radar spike here. Avoid that. Okay. So I'm gonna wanna actually check out a lot of these. Because I'm definitely going to want to send some of these things home. Keep them if I can. If I can. Eh. I do not know how to switch weapons. Uh, what is that? I have no idea. Okay, that's configurations. Uh, let's see. Options... Keyboard configurations. Change left weapon, change right weapon. So Z and C. So cycle femto arms. Uh, wing assault shield. Okay. So that's femto. We'll learn about that later. Okay, so. That's contested chill with one point on the board. Nope. Big bad gargantua coming through! Okay, so we got that S SMG. That I rather like. Oh, that's so much more docket. So much more. Okay. Now, we don't actually know what strides are. They're just things. And that's a wrap. I'd say we did pretty good for ourselves. Get it? I ain't even had my fill! Still, all the secrecy surrounding this. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Initiating return sequence. Nah, it's fine. We survived and that's all that matters. Let's go home, Ricky. Alright, healed up. Now, it says there's one more enemy. There it is. I was like, there's got to be something else.
Okay, and then quick check. See if there's anything else hanging out on the map. I don't see it. So I guess let's get out of here. Cool. All right, done with that. So we looted, looted a hell of a lot of stuff. Most of it's probably bad, but who knows? I'm down for just switching parts around. So the more enemies you beat, the more parts you get for your robot? Yeah, looks like it. I'm pretty down with that. 